Good morning, good morning. Everybody, welcome to LA. Happy California Day to you. We are here. We've been here for a couple of days. We were here for a friend's wedding in San Diego, and then Dan and I extended for a couple of days in beautiful, sunny, sunshine LA. And this morning, I'm here with my Zit Cream, the Coley Spot Solution, more eloquently put. We've realized that in our old age, uh, we just want to stick to our routine as much as possible. And we kind of get excited to come to other cities and try out new gyms. Like we went to a gym in San Diego. It was called The Gym. And little did we know it was some crazy big institution. It was a magical place and we get so giddy to like try different machines. And this is what happens when you work out at home and you never leave your house and you work out at your garage. Yes, we do get excited to try other gyms and things. But that being said, we've also been to LA a million times. Like obviously there's so much we haven't seen yet, but we've done the main touristy things, you know? So we kind of wanted to just try our best to live like a local for a couple days, you know, suss out the spots for future moving endeavors. I'm just kidding. (laughs) Or am I? So we actually had a hard time finding gyms around us because a lot of the gyms in this land are like membership only, Equinox types, boutique style gyms, but also just a lot of classes like Pilates, berries, yoga, things like that. We had to drive to get to this gym. So we found an LA Fitness. We got a little three-day pass and this is where we've been coming. So join us this morning for our lovely little workout. I'm doing an upper body day. Can't record much inside because it's a very busy place. There's a lot of people, but just now, this morning, we're starting our day off. Zit cream and all with a trip to the chat. Okay, post-workout, upper body day done. You guys, one of our favorite places in the whole world in Vancouver is Body Energy Club. Sorry, it's really loud. We're on these streets. When I lived downtown Vancouver, like I consumed this daily. No other smoothies on the planet compare. When we moved to Toronto, I was so sad to be without these. I don't know what, I don't know what it is, honestly, about this combination, but in my opinion, it's the perfect smoothie. When I try to make smoothies at home, I can't get even close to the flavor of this. And there's one other smoothie I wanna try, and we'll see how it compares, but as of now, in my opinion, Body Energy Club needs to be worldwide. It's the worldwide smoothies everywhere. If you haven't tried them, and they're in LA. That's so exciting. That means that their global domination is coming. Fastest change of our life, truly. We just went back to the hotel. We parked the car, changed. Here's my fit. Is this appropriate for the weather right now? Absolutely not. But I will say, much like going into the Costco produce Frigidaire, um, when you go in stores, they have the air conditioning blasting so, so intensely here. So though it is a cool 33 degrees Celsius outside, I am in linen and sneakers for walking because we were going to drive to our next destination, but we decided to walk to get steps in, which really, it's been the theme of our trip, honestly, because we're trying to stick to our program as much as possible while also enjoying succulent, delicious food. But we're staying in West Hollywood, and we've actually found it to be very, very walkable. And it's been nice. We've been getting our steps in, so opting to walk where we could otherwise drive, like today. So I'm going to be drenched in sweat. The quick makeup that I just threw on and the very intense layer of bronzer is going to be sweating off of me immediately. But we're getting our steps in, and so that's great. Uh, Anyway, we're headed to the Grove, my friends. Let's go for a little shopping adventure. It has been a very hot, quick shopping sesh. I was far too sweaty and it was a scramble. I simply couldn't um, film it, but in case you're wondering, I do feel like I'm gonna drip away. And now we're at Erwan. Listen, we've heard so much, so much, so many people talk about the Hailey Bieber smoothie. I personally really wanted to try the Chamberlain coffee one. The Chamberlain coffee, coffee smoothie, whatever they had, they don't have it anymore. Sad, but guys, we're gonna get the Hailey Bieber smoothie see if it's worth the hype. Little succulent strawberry moment. Let's go try it. Hello. Can I please get the Hailey Bieber smoothie? Thank you. First of all, you guys, that lineup, the lineup, the wait, oh my God, I felt like I was in there for 12,000 years. The woman also yelled at me, she flailed her arms and was like, no recording. But I got a clip of them blending it. So the strawberry glaze, skin glaze smoothie. Oh, that's for sure all glaze on the bottom. Ooh, that's sweet. It tastes like dessert. It's dessert. And I saw them pour 
they had like a, a big jug of maple syrup and they just went, like this is all maple syrup. <laughs> it's good. Um, for $18 USD, it ain't that good. <laughs> if you wanted to try it, it's cute, but it's literally like sugar, strawberry syrup. That's what it tastes like. It literally tastes like dessert. We are back. We just made it back and our room is clean and looking spick and span. So let's give you a quick little room tour. We're staying at the Soho House Holloway House, which honestly, the last time we were in LA, we stayed at the warehouse location downtown, which has a beautiful gym and it's amazing. This one doesn't have a gym, which is sad, but it's obviously like closer to everything. And we've been walking everywhere, which is nice, but the room is so cute. When you walk in, you see the lovely little bathroom, cute little shower too. Look at this. It's so bright and beautiful. Love, love, love. <laughs> Look at this cord. <laughs> anyway, then you have a big beautiful closet here. Love the doors, so nice. And here's the room. Our stuff is everywhere, obviously, but they made the bed and it's looking fresh. Love that light fixture so much, it's so nice. So cute. Our favorite thing about Soho House is they always have cookies. Listen, every Soho House kind of has a different variation. The Soho House in Paris, like the cookies there, insane. We didn't realize this. We saw this the next day. We didn't realize that every time they clean the room, they refill the cookie jar. Eee, they're so good. Look at the salt on them. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like come on. It's so good. Mm, we're just gonna quickly freshen ourselves up and then we're gonna go for lunch because we're gonna show you our favorite spot that we've discovered and we've been eating it every day. It's so delicious. All right, guys. So this has been our favorite discovery. Every single day we have been eating at Tender Greens. I really hope that was smooth and that you could see the sign. Hi, how are you doing? Can I do double shrimp? Sure. You guys, they're out of shrimp. I ordered the shrimp and he was like, yeah, perfect. And then the lady <laughs> literally slips him a paper and it was like 86 shrimp. If you ever worked in a restaurant, if you like 86 something, it means you're out of it. So that just happened to the shrimp. But just in case you're wondering, if you want to know what my order is, it's the shrimp and it's so good. It's literally, it must be grilled. Like they have a barbecue or something. So I got the chipotle chicken instead, which is also delicious, but shrimp is where my heart is. Honestly, that's a lot of chicken. It wouldn't have been that much if it were shrimp. <laughs> now listen, I don't know if this is even a debate. A, de a debate? A debate, or if I'm just making this up in my head. But just in case anyone was like, mm, do you, which do you like better, sweet greens or tender greens? Absolutely tender greens all the way. First of all, I don't like salad. Sweet green is salad. A big bowl of lettuce or spinach or kale or whatever it is, whatever mixed greens you decide to have in your bowl. But that is not uh, my meal of choice. What I love about tender greens is it's like the closest thing to my food that I make at home, which is really hard to find at restaurants. You know when you're eating something and you're like, mm, I would do it this way or mm, I'd add more salt, whatever. Every single time we've eaten at tender greens, I'm like, this is what I want in my belly. This is how I'd make it at home, but better because they probably use lots of butter. <laughs> Anyway, it's so good. Obviously, I wish I could have shown you the beautiful, succulent, juicy shrimp, but we'll have to save that for another day. Maybe we'll get tender greens tomorrow on the way out. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this riveting chat about tender greens. Now we're walking up hill and I can't breathe. Sorry, see you when we're back. <laughs> joining you much later in the evening, fam. The lighting is so yellow in here, but it's so warm. I just tripped on a cord, sorry. I bought this vest at Zara today. I think it's exceptional. I love it. It's so cool. It's giving. Dan said Carhartt. I was gonna go with Carpenter. Either way, the shoe fits. If the shoe fits. <laughs> I think it's cool. I love it. My fear is that it's gonna be deeply air conditioned where we're going and that I'm gonna be cold, but it's just, it seems so wrong to pack a sweater right now. So one of our favorite activities that we love to do, other than escape rooms, which we honestly haven't done an escape room in so long. We should have, Dan, we should have looked into escape rooms while we were here. But we have booked in to go to the comedy store, which is our, I, I it's an equal favorite. Whenever we go to New York, we go to the comedy cellar. Whenever we come to LA, we come to the comedy store. How, is the other one's the Laugh Factory, right? But either way, we've been to the comedy store before. We loved it. He's just made an espresso, which is totally fair, but LOL. Anyway, we're going to the comedy store and we're both so excited. It's a little bit late. We booked a 9 p.m. one, so we fear that we're gonna be a little bit sleepy. I'm already very sleepy. It was a long day strolling in the sunshine, but we hit our steps, guys. 
How exciting. Usually they're pretty strict with cameras and filming at these things, but hopefully we can get a nice little shot of the, the outside and perhaps our seating area. But we'll have to love you and leave you and recap the show after we see it. But if you had never considered going to a comedy show when you're traveling, I would highly consider. Go have some laughs, hours of laughs. And the laughs we had, my friends. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at the state of me. <laughs> let, me put you, let me put you down here. Good morning. Comedy store was a hoot, but you guys, we were there so late. We actually left early. Like, we, when did it start? The show started at 9. And from the last time, when we were in LA last, we went to comedy store. And it was, I think it was just under three hours. And so we expected that. We expected it would be done at midnight. But then midnight came and they were like, and your next comic is. And we're like, oh my God. We had plans to be up bright and early um, to do Runyon this morning. And that did not happen. That didn't happen, which I'm honestly, we're both sad about. But you know what? The emails came flooding in. It was a long weekend in Canada. And um, it's okay. We had a little sleep in, but it was so good. Oh my gosh. All the comedians were so funny. They had some special guests. Could I name you everybody that was there? Absolutely not. But we were howling. It was good laughs. And again, would highly recommend going to see a comedy show if you're into that kind of thing. We love, it's just, it's always a blast. Yeah. And now this is what I look like recovering. And we're actually leaving today, our flights tonight. So we need to pack up and we're going to go get some brunch. Perhaps we can bring you to a lovely new spot that we discovered thanks to your recommendations. Let's go. Listen up, y'all. Sometimes things just don't go to plan. We have about an hour and we needed to get our steps in. We, we both decided that our need to get our steps in during the day in a very, very hot California is not helping us in our vlog plans. Um, so <laughs> we needed to walk because we need steps for flying today. And so we walked, we wanted to go to Great White for brunch because we had it the other day and it was so, so good. Uh, the lineup is out the door. Like the wait list was not happening for us. So right beside, we've come to Verve Coffee and we've got an iced coffee. How cute is this cup? So cute. And we're sitting on little cushions outside. Honestly, great vibe. And we've ordered breakfast sandwiches. So it wasn't our original plan, but brunch is had. I am literally wet. My shirt is soaked. It's embarrassing. I'm looking around. There's beautiful people everywhere. Nobody sweats here. Why is no one sweating? One thing I also love about LA, they have trubia everywhere. I'm so excited. And obviously I packed core power to put in my iced coffee. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cheers. That looks great. Wow. What perfect timing. Look at these. Delicious and maybe nutritious. Anyway, I'm going to put this in coffee. All right, guys, we got to eat really quickly, wrap this up, and sprint back to the hotel and check out. So see you once we have our car back. So rejoining you at home because following that very sweaty coffee breakfast, we had one of the most hectic travel days home ever because I don't, you guys, I don't know what happened, but Dan and I messed up our travel schedule so, so badly, okay? Uh, so first of all, we rented a car. We rented a car through Turo, which we've worked with them before. And it's lit it's literally so amazing. It's like Airbnb for car rentals. And it's it couldn't be easier. You literally just like pick up the key and drop it off. There's just no faff. It's so simple. And for whatever reason, we, like the first time that we had rented the Turo on the app, if you selected a pickup time, that was automatically your drop off time for the end of your trip. But it wasn't the case in LA, like through the person that we rented through, we didn't realize that we had selected a different drop off time. So what we thought is that we had a 3.30 PM drop off time for the car. And then we thought our flight was at 6.20 PM. So we're sitting there having a late brunch, our checkouts at noon. We're like, cool, we have so much time. We're gonna check out of our room, drive around. We were thinking of even doing Runyon before the flight, maybe do a final little shop, whatever. We were just totally dilly-dallying. And then we ended up checking out later. We stopped at a couple shops. We went to get gas, what have you. And then 2.30 rolls around and we get a message 
from the Turo people being like, you're officially marked as late and notification's been sent to Turo. And I was like, excuse you, LA Auto Spot, at least give us a warning, give us a call. We're like, oh my gosh, so sorry. They like, didn't realize it's not the same time. So we immediately start driving back. That night, there's a Taylor Swift concert. The traffic is insane, insane. What was otherwise like a, th I think a 39 minute drive took us almost two hours, you guys. We didn't drop off the car until 4.30. We were in traffic for 12,000 years. Then we got our flight time wrong. I don't know what the hell happened, but our flight time was at 5.20, not 6.20. And it's in those moments that Dan and I thank our lucky stars forever that we are loyal to an airline because Air Canada absolutely pulled through. We had missed the drop off time for our baggage because if you're doing a domestic flight, you only have to be there 45 minutes before the flight. If it's international, it's an hour and they're really pretty strict on that cutoff. So we had called, we're like, we are going to be late. We have missed baggage drop off. Please help SOS. We roll up, you guys. It was literally from a movie. We should have filmed it. We were, we were so frazzled. We were literally sprinting around the airport. We roll up to the Air Canada counter and the sweet angel was there waiting with our bag tags. They had printed out our bag tags. I've never felt more like loved and taken care of in my life. Dan and I both, like I, honestly, it was almost tears. It was tears worthy. All that to say, it was a wild travel day. We made our flight, the bags made it. It was a bloody miracle. And that was that. So those were our couple days in LA. And truly counting out the seconds until we can go back because usually when we go to LA, we try to see as many people as we can. We try to have meetings, we try to do work things, see some pals and we totally got there and we just absolutely mossed and chilled and it was honestly such a lovely couple of days. And I also just wish that I had tried harder to go to see Taylor Swift because I was so, I had such FOMO going through all the TikToks and I was like, <laughs> I want to go see the door. RIP to the wait list for the Toronto tickets. That's wild and wild and. Anyway, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for an extension and for her to come to Vancouver with some show dates. That would be a dream. Wouldn't it? I'm going to love you and leave you here, fam. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for being here for watching. I'll see you all so soon for a new video. Bye.